and welcome to my lightning talk. I am Hanna Grasmo. I'm a sociologist, a lab designer, and currently a doctoral researcher at the University of Tampere. In this talk, I will talk about some preliminary findings in an article about designing for erotic labs. I would like to focus on my findings about non-normative sexualities, genders and relationships that are portrayed in Nordic erotic LARPs in the last decade. So here's my talk, Designing for Queer Erotic Adventures. Erotic LARP is embodied erotic roleplay, physically playing out a character in a fiction. In my sample of 26 six LARPs, they are played together with 10 to 130 others and lasting between four hours and five days. All LARPs have to have a method for physically role-playing sexual content. I do not mean erotic LARP with positive content only. The more troublesome sides of sexuality is common in Nordic LARP and it's played out deadly serious as in the pictures from Just a Little Loven about the AIDS crisis hitting in the 1980s. By reviewing websites of the LARPs and the study, I uncovered what designers themselves see as meaningful and viable to communicate, but also what the players are expecting and willing to accept. I studied the current practices from a point of view of both game studies and sexuality studies. In my first article, Designing Erotic LARPs, I asked the following. How do LARP designers signal LARPs, erotic LARPs, on their websites? And what kind of sexual mechanics are developed and used to cater for play? And do they include queer and non-normative sexualities in their design? It is the last question that I will fo focus on in this talk um, about queer narratives and inclusive designs. So, how queer is Nordic LARP? This is my results of the review. Of the 26 LARPs, it was just four who was mostly heteronormative, and several of them had explicit queer main themes and storylines, like here from Vedit Jellingen with a lesbian agenda and a whole story written from the perspective of lesbian, bi and non-binary people. In the other fictions, there are characters that are gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, drag queens, non-gendered and intersex. A couple of the LARPs rewrote gender. In the Hunted Gather LARP, Koi Koi, they have the third gender nuke. And in the, in the near future LARP Reborn, there are four genders based on the four elements. And also everyone in Reborn are expected to live in polyamorous relationship. Many of the LARPs have polyamorous relationship or include casual club sex and orgies. When it comes to kink, it's really a well assorted smurgos board to pick from. From BDSM to pony play, diaper fetish strap-ons, waterboarding, forced feeding or blood play, for instance. On the websites, the designers are signaling what kind of themes and play styles they are aiming for. This graceful proposal in the photo here is obviously queer. Many LARPs are open to play out the gender and sexuality you are most comfortable with. But the queer inclusiveness doesn't stop with the characters. I have found since 2015, all of the LARPs have been in explicitly inclusive when it comes to gender and sexual orientations of the player. A common quote from the websites are, all genders, sexualities and bodies are welcome to play wicked and beautiful in this LARP. We can role play to understand our own sexuality. Sexual scientists can tell us that sexuality can serve as a gateway to the death of the psyche and a tool for self-understanding. Also, when we play extreme scenes as the picture from a film where torture uh, is a part of it. 
I quote Osmo Kontala, when we discover our true sexual desires and possibilities, and perhaps their origin, sex become not just wonderful, but momentous. Sex can enhance your life and also change it entirely. Just as we did as children, we can play now through sex in a way that removes us from the mundane toward a moment and a mood of uncommon intensity. And what might happen with you after those intense play experience when sex are included? I have heard many anecdotal stories of LARPer coming out as trans, bi or gay, finding another gender identity or finding love in new ways after LARP. But this is under-researched. We can roleplay to understand the other. I quote, I'll quote game scholar Parsonen. In roleplay, we can experiment and understand types of sexualities that are personally or culturally undesirable or impractical or harmful. LARP with sexual scenes may be described as an emotional and cognitive discussion about sexuality and identity, everyday day identity and the character in fiction as me here as Hank, a gay janitor in upstate New York, 1981. Okay, so in erotic LARP, we can try out what is not possible in everyday life to step into a magical world of make-believe where your body might feel the same as the character, but it's still not real. But is it transformational? Will playing queer give powers of transformation? At least some of the designers as here in Follow My Lead think so. Quote, this experience can be deeply emotional, sensual, and transformational. Yes, some of us might at least like to try out this new kink in a safe setting as a LARPist before daring to try it in real life. So structured erotic role-playing games may offer a safe way of exploring arousal and transgressive sexualities. We know something about what queer LARPers think about playing, both normative and non-normative LARPs from the study of Stendros as Sivanon as referred above. And there are hints that some feel queer LARPing helps their identity building. I will end this talk with some questions for you to think about. My research are not done yet, and there is a lot we do not know about how the player experience queer characters or how they experience sexual emotion in LARP. But what about yourself? What will it feel like when you are sexual aroused in a character compared to your everyday self? What if you play, as in the picture here, in a culture with three genders and altered gender roles? Will it be easier or harder to be aroused and present in the moment? I am myself pondering about those two questions I put in the, uh, in the slide. Will playing queer sex in LARP make LARPers more open or is it just a fun way to cross taboo? Maybe queer, kinky and poly narratives even just confirming ex existing prejudices. If you add sexual arousal to that role play, will you add more selfishness to the play or add more empathy with that character? I am hoping that playing a character with a sexuality and a gender very different to yourself will give you empathy and understanding of others and new insights to your own sexuality. But I do not know that yet. Thank you for listening. The article Designing Erotic LARP is a part of my current PhD research. And uh, next year I will start to uh, study sexual arousal in LARP from the player's point of view. If you have some erotic LARP stories or BDS and roleplay stories, I am doing a pilot for an online story gathering. So use the QR code up, up here if you would like to contribute. Thank you and goodbye.